Hey guys, this is Nichi Panda here coming to you on the 7th of the October 2016. If you hear like a da 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 that's my, my tumble dryer saying, Hey, I've been on for 20 minutes, it's time to open me up. And I'm like, Really? Right now? Like, it literally just started before I decided to press play. And I'm like, I'm not getting up. Because <laughs> I'll have to <laughs> go and get it, come back. But that's me going off on a tangent already. It's, oh. Hang on. Sorry, some kind of thing came up in my corner. But I do have a fit. I have two finishes. An actual finish. Shock horror. Guess now if you know what it is. I'm joking. I'll be showing you them anyway. But I will show you my little tiny bit of haul. I did get a big piece of Jaslyn, 28 count, uh, 39 by 55 inches to try and kit up as much, well, kit up fabric-wise for next year's sales. I got about four, four pieces and then I got a bit left over. So, because I don't know some of the sizes of them because I haven't got the stitch count. But I managed to kit for... Um, my fairy godmother, which is over here, she's my new star. And um, I got for World Collection of Girls by Sew to Stitch. And I got for The Hobbit when I get the pattern for that at the week next weekend. Um, no, I got something else. For the life of me, I can't remember. But I got a leftover piece, but it's not big enough width wise to do anything with without. It would only give me like an inch, inch and a half give if I were to do a <gasps> oh, cat. Um, uh, another solo stitch on it. So I've left it there and it'll come in handy at some point. But I'm going to buy a meter of Joblin, hopefully. I'm watching you. Sorry, the Moogie's down here and she's eyeing my leg up like it's a piece of meat. Right. So I'm only kitting up the first page because it's going to take me a while to do it. It is Prior or Prayer by Tilton Crafts. I have been eyeing these up for ages and when the sale came on I was like, I have to have that. I want the entire set, but full coverage isn't my thing. But have you seen these? Have you seen these? <laughs> I've been eyeing it up for ages. I want them. I do like the idea of full coverage. I'm doing the Pokemon one. I love it and I hate it at the same time. I love it, it's Pokemon, but I hate it because it's full coverage. I think I'll, I think I'll live. Alright, also I got more of these. I got them from Wilkinson's, they're 50 pounds each. And they hold pretty much everything. I don't think the fabric will fit in here. Like, I would have used that piece of 28 Jasmine for this. There would have been a half inch, both, half an inch between both sides of the piece I've got. And it would have been two inches too short for it even just to fit on the fabric so that I don't think that was going to fit somehow but I've got it because the other half wants to do this Spitfire or something he's found he's made a pattern for it on pick to pack and um, I said he could use it if he needs it I don't mind you know if he's using my shirt he's using my shirt I use his computer for doing my stuff so <laughs> he got me build a lot I like this game this game indeed but yeah, I've got that, which I pulled out the colours that I have for the first page that I know I've got and are full skeins. Um, I've tried not to get ones that have been used too much because I don't know how much I'm going to need for the full project. It does give you the usage, roughly. Like it says, if you need one, two or three skeins. Most of them you only need one. There's a few twos and there's a couple of threes. So, I think there's a couple of threes. I can't remember. Or is that just my late friend order? <laughs> but you need at least at least one of every colour on the list. So what I'm going to do is, now once I've started it, I can like maybe get 7 to 15 colours a fortnight. Build that up. Also, I'll be building up for my sales next year. Um, I am dropping, theoretically, because I am not paying £30 for a piece of Weeks Dye Works, the um, Ding Dong, which is dead by la la -di da mainly because it's £30 for the fabric and I can't find a suitable alternative. Like, if someone knows an alternative for Weeks Dye Works Baby's Breath, that is cheaper. I don't mind if the count is different, it's fine. Just something that looks similar. I'm watching you. But isn't going to cost me 30 quid for a piece of fabric that I'm only going to be using 3 inches by 8. That's how big the pattern is. It's roughly by, like, 
three and a half inches by eight inches long. It's not very big and this piece of fabric's like... I'm not even going to use half. Hello. Look. Muggy. Hello, Holly. Um, next, I am going to show you my finishes, but I will show you my little one first. My friend Scott's birthday coming up now in two days. I theoretically sent his card. I gave it to my dad to post for me. And I did his card. When Suicide Squad came out, we all went to the cinema to watch it. So that is his card. It's the Joker and Harlequin from Suicide Squad. And it's the People in Love set from Clouds Factory. I think you'll like it. My card making skills are nothing <laughs> to be admired. They're upside down and the flap, because it was meant to sort of like stand like this. You know, so that the picture's this side and it's what's back. But no, the picture's like this and the bottom and the flap's like this. <laughs> so it's more so that you've got to stand for something behind it just so you can see it. It's terrible. I wasn't paying attention. I had this to worry about. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I had the other half in the house. I had my little one running around. I was like, well, I should get this done. <laughs> but yeah, that's my other finish. And this is my other finish. Relief Collector by Nora Corbett. If I can keep guessing here. Isn't she pretty? The only thing is, the paper I use to hold the fabric, it rubbed off. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. Pink on the fabric. But, well, it's right there. Either way, I'm kind of hoping the frame will either cover it, or there'll be a mount, so that'll just come over. Had it pegged up on my card line, so I've got uh, card lines going around on my wall ever since pegged. My son's drawings and his school photos. It's um, it's just easier for me to have them, and then when we have birthdays, they're not cards being knocked over by the cat, or the wind's not going to blow them over. They're up there, out the way. <laughs> And I leave them up for six months because I forget they're there. I took my Christmas cards down in March. <laughs> That's how forgetful I get. If they're up there, I'm not going to notice them, you know? So that's my finishes. Um, I have a new start. which I started my fairy godmother. This is the uh, front panel of her dress and the flowers that come across. I'll get her pic the picture up now and show you. Without showing you the pattern would be lovely. Let's see now, where is it? See, I'm totally unorganised. But that's what she'll look like. And I think I found what um, issue she's from. I think it was from issue 133, which I think was December 2003. That would have made me... Nine turning... 10 yeah nine years old when I had that pattern but I kept it <sighs> I liked it from then as so I said I am keeping that but um if someone has that issue could you just check for me that I got the right one because it says on here that uh, there's like 2004 written on stuff and then um it says coming soon and it says the fairy silhouettes over there. And it says, if Sue's design has put you in the mood to weave some more fairy magic, then you can't miss Joan Elliott's fairy silhouette ABC. There's an enchanted little sprite to stitch for every letter of the alphabet, and you'll find them in, an, in issue 134 of the World of Cross Stitching on, on sale, 10th of January. So I'm guess, I, I guess. That this is one three three because they don't normally advertise stuff that's four issues ahead or two issues ahead. It's usually sorry, my computer's saying, Hey look, you need an update, and I'm like, No, I don't. So you can tell I like my computer, can't you? But um, yeah, that's that new start. I did the flower this this part of the skirt is done one over two, and the flower is two over two. But I want to do all of this, you know, yellowiness, the other side. Then I've got that front panel. 
and roughly it's all fit to uh, finish up the bot the base of the project will be roughly this line roughly but it, it should fit within the width of the train so I've got a bit of stomach discomfort and um, it, it'll be taller it'll be about 13 and a half inches tall so it won't fit in my in my frame so I will have to it might but the, for the beading it might fit although I'm a little bit apprehensive about ironing this it will need like a no meter of towels over it first I don't know I haven't I haven't ironed my my leaf collector yet and I've beaded that before I washed it but I didn't want to wash it because of the water lilies um, I have made a little bit of progress on my Game of Thrones not much by the way there's a little bit I've had a bit of arguments with this one I have started Cersei that's DMC's metallic oh can't even see it there you go DMC's metallic but my issue was my stitches went to shit. I don't, I don't even understand how my stitches just went like, nah, mate, I'm just going to sit here like this. You know, it's like they've been to a drunk party or something. They're just everywhere. Sorry, my toes are going numb. Oh, here we go. That's better. But I have made a little bit of progress on that. Only a little bit. My uncle came over to play Forza with Ben, so... That was fun, they were both swearing at the cars. And I was like, oh, this thing shit to drive. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm just doing myself in like a housewife. <laughs> oh, if I ever become a housewife, I don't know what I'm going to do. Not that I have anything against housewives. I refuse to be that type of person who completely and utterly does everything for the man whilst I sit on his ass all day. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, you live in this house, you damn well do your shit. You know, I've got a two-year-old to look after. <laughs> Come on, mate. But he's good, he does his share. He's got his, he's out today and he's coming back and doing his little list. You know, if we get it all done, we don't have to do it later, you know? I've been up since 6, 6 a.m. It is now 10 to 10. I've been up for four hours and all I want to do is sleep. Um, let's just say this morning, the other half got a little annoyed when the cat started purring in his face. <laughs> so the cat went on the floor. The little one decided then he wanted his Dee Dee and his blankie. Ah, you little bugger. And then I was like, I'm just going to get up. <laughs> so I put my Xbox on and checked my Gears of War. Because Gears of War Ultimate Edition was released today for early access. I was like, yes, because I pre-ordered it yesterday morning so that we could get the pre-order the pre DLC. And I, you probably don't even care, but I, I love the game. Because if I'm, I'm not gonna play it whilst he's not here we're both gonna do the campaign together the story but I might have a go on Horde maybe because the Horde 3.0 is a lot different it's kind of it's a lot different basically it's um you can actually decide where you put your um fortifications like you can put them like adjust them properly instead of like in Gears 3 you had set places where they would be which is like yeah that's cool it just saves you doing all the hassle and now this one you've actually physically got to place it but the weapons are cool best part was i got the better skins he checked his and most of them are pink <laughs> I, I thought that was funny right before i go completely off tangent again okay i did work on my Pokemon. So, hang on. There we go. There we go. Oh. I did all the blue behind you. Actually, I did all that colour for that entire section. Um, I filled in Vaporeon's tail and face. And now I've started on Snorlax's belly. Was that all right? Yeah. Like on this, my stitches have gone a bit wonky on Snorlax's face, but I'd already done quite a few in his face, so it was just sort of pushing my needle through was more the issue. My fabric definitely, definitely needs a wash. And the good thing is I've bought enough of these so that I've got the pattern in one <laughs> I've got the fabric in the other, which is probably what I'm going to do for prior as well. Um, I will be doing it like I did this. I will be chart uh, gridding out the page and doing one colour at a time 
I find everything goes so much quicker. That is my personal opinion. I know Blitz Stitch does the diagonal and I think you're great for doing that. But that's not my cup of tea because I can't flip back and forth all the time. The one regret I did with this is I started the pages below, like finishing the Pokemon. I should have just done pages. Just pages. So much easier. I've got like less than a page left on what I've got to do. I'm going to try and... I saying I've got my, my goals, which I will explain in a minute. I'm trying to make my video considerably shorter than my last one, because the last one was an hour, but I didn't have as much to say. Sorry, my, my windows are directly in front of me. That's it. Last time, I hadn't shown you my Wonderland. Let's see. Oh, I'm my box of wonder. I just remembered I haven't shown you my Wonderland. As you know, I'm doing Brooks Books, Alice in Wonderland. The caterpillar's being released this weekend. Oh, I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. I, this is the White Rabbit section that I've done. I haven't done much. I'm not lying. I have not done much. I have literally <laughs> done the checkerboard at the bottom and started the grass. The checkerboard is extremely tedious, but it is so worth it. The grass is going to murder me because I've got to do this grass 12 times like I've got to do the checkerboard. Right. That checkerboard and that line, I know it's upside down, but the first line, that's 770 stitches. Ignoring these bits I've done down here. 770 stitches so far. Because I'm going to do the checkerboard for each pattern. The grass, I'm going to do the little motif and then maybe move up move on to the next one and then I'll do the characters maybe that's the kind of idea I've got but I don't know yet I love the fabric it is Aurora in opalescent Belfast 32 Belfast from the crafty kitten I love it I love it I want I literally if I could I would buy enough and paper my wall with it it's that pretty but um I don't think did I have any new fabrics can't think but I know I had no oh, I don't know if I showed you but I'll figure it out I'll watch my last video and then I'll show you in the next one if I haven't shown you but I had the fabric back for um the howling cat and I printed out the pattern for that so I have a wash machine uh, dish dishwasher I don't have a dishwasher a tumble dryer <laughs> the tumble dryer is going again let's see get that back to the back see keep them all in nice baggies so then if I spill something which most likely I will it ain't going anywhere then I've also got my Cheshire cat in there I did a little bit on it oh yes my goals I'm so unorganized my head is not with it I'm tired I just I just want to go back to it <laughs> but whilst I've got the piece I need to do this my goals for last month was to do the blue around Mew on my Pokemon I did that I did the one over one skin that's, these are last months. I did the one over one skin on my leaf collector. I did that in time. I finished the leaf collector on the 4th. And all I had to do was the back part of her dress, the, the underside, you know, the, the brown at the back, the boots, the back stitch on the boots and her legs, and then the last tendrils of beading. But, and I had to finish out the tree, which I did, and I've even done the Krynik back stitch on it. Um, I haven't got a goal for this this month so I do like it I want it to be like a little side thing I know I'm going to have to do it all again but I just wanted to see how I felt about her patterns before I went mega crazy and bought them all <laughs> so I felt that um, uh, I'm doing the system where if I don't do the uh, goal it will be carried forward to the next month until it is done. Oh, something else I had to do. I can't remember because I can't find my, my goals list for last month. Um, but that's uh, I know one of them was to do the outlining on my sleeping beauty. I didn't do that. I didn't pick it up. Oh. Sorry, you're on my ironing board right now. I've got my October 
it's my monthly tracker. It tells you what I've worked on, what days I've worked on. It's also got my goals, goals on the back. So this month, I want to finish the grass on the white rabbit and do the small motif. Every pattern has a small like motif. I don't know what it is and if I can get to it. I didn't check. But like with the um, Mad Hatter, you've got the uh, like cake stand. I would do the grass and the cake stand of his. Um, I need to get, get and start the Hobbit from Cloud's Factory because I've done, I finished the Lord of the Rings as well. Things over there, I'm not getting up. But it's in a wood frame, it looks nice, it's finished. <laughs> If, I, if, this, if this is all here, by the time I do my next video, I will show it then, but I don't know. Um, finished the leaf collector. I did that, because I set these on the 29th of September, when I realised, hey look, I need to do stuff. Uh, finished Snorlax and start Articuno, which is the, Snorlax is what I'm already doing the belly on, and Articuno is the bird, the wings. Um, and I've got to cut fabric for 2017. That was an optional one, but I did it. I did what I could with what I had. Um, I want to do three characters on my Game of Thrones, so that'll probably be Finish Thirsty and her name, then Brienne and Arya. I want to do those three so I can do it that way. Then I can start on Drogo, Daenerys, and then I can do my dad. Um, Outline Sleeping Beauty, and I've also done a little chart to remind me what page it was. <laughs> so I need. To it's only going to take me an hour. Maybe two, depending if I get time. <laughs> but um, start kitting up prior flosses. I've started, so technically I've done that one, but I want to get the rest of them for that page. And then I will consider that done. Um, list the colours needed for first page so I can start to them. I've done that. <laughs> so I haven't got as many as I thought I did. I'm just trying to use the back, it just then that way I know what I did every month. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, oh, I don't know if I showed you, but that's the September 2016 Flosses from Jodhry Designs. It's Elven Wood. The fabric is the same. It's shiny. Also, I've... Uh, oh, yeah, my other things were Order the Fabrics. Fabric slash fix for the twin mermaids. I have the beads, I have the water lilies, I need the DMZ now. But when because I've put I've ordered the pattern with Crafty Kitten along with the fabric. I've done the September limited edition but I've done it on a layaway so when I get money this weekend I am going to pay a bit more off. That I think I've got maybe thirty or forty pound left to pay. So I'm gonna maybe try and do twenty. Try and get it down quickly. I don't like spending a lot of time waiting you know, for it to come down, because the sooner I pay it off, the sooner I get the fabrics. And it's a September limited edition, it's grey, and I've ordered them both the same, 32 count Belfast. One is opal, one is not. Because, most likely, depending on how big it is, the Lakeside Fantasy style, I will do that on the other piece. But if it's way too big, like, literally, there's just going to be, like, six inches either side, I'm like, nah, I'm going to find a bigger pattern to do on that. Or I'll cut it in half and do two things on it do two Noras on it, you know? So that's going to be interesting because the fabric was 20, 25 pound odd each, so I can't, and then the pattern was a tenner, so 60 pound, 60 pound 60 was the total, so I don't think that amount in one go was really good. Um, the other half thinks I'm addicted to this, but I don't think so. don't think there's ever such a thing as addicted to cross stitch. Don't know what he's talking about. Um, I should have a drink. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I really, really don't think there's anything else. So, that'll be it for this video, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get another video up semi-soon. It all depends on how I'm feeling. I feel like crap, to be honest, right now, but I'm in an appeasable mood, so it's, I'm chill. As long as I've got the chill, I can do it. If the other half is going to be sat at his desk making faces at me, I ain't going to do it. That's why I've done it whilst he's not here. I've done it whilst the little one's out because the little one is just winding me up. 
<laughs> not listening. He's he's in the terrible twos and he's gone through that non-listening stage. It's like, oh look, mommy's saying no, let's do it anyway. So, yay for that. <laughs> um, kids will be kids at the end of the day, but it's just easier for me if I wait until he's in the school or if he's with dad or if he's at nanny's house. That just makes things ten times easier. Um, I need to stop saying um. I really need to stop saying um. It's, it's getting on my nerves now. It's like when I was in college, I used to say actually a lot. Like, actually, and really, and... It, it aggravated everyone to the point where people just told me to shut up. It was great, but I wanted to talk to people. But yeah, I will be working on this for the remainder of the day. I know you can't see that very well, and my, my windows are like right there. So if I bring it in and tilt it, maybe, yeah. I'm going to maybe try and do this the other side of this. Maybe do some more flowers, but not this way. Because I want, I like working down. So the way split stitch works, works for me, but I can't do it. I cannot work like that. I like to do cross country. I work a colour as far as I can work it, so I can't work it no more without a giant jump. Like a giant jump to me is more than 7 to 16 stitches. Depending on the angle, I will happily jump up to 15 stitches. Hello. If it's on either, if it's on linens and even weaves, I will jump up to 5 stitches. That is it. I'll be like, now nah, I'll I'll wait until I can get get there. Because if it's too far away and I miscount it, I gotta one pick it all. So it's just safer for me if I just leave it and, and do it when I can. But yeah, that called for a white even weave in a twenty eight. So that's what I did. I really don't think I have anything else, which is actually quite cool and I'm only at 26 minutes so I'm going to cut this off before it gets to 30 minutes because otherwise it's just going to take forever to upload. Yeah, speaking of that, I am not kidding you. I've done my video, the last one. We went out at 10 o'clock, like we started uploading it at half past, quarter past half past nine. We went out like half past 10, 11 o'clock. We came back at five o'clock that evening. It was at 54%. Because it cut the internet out, it took up the entire bandwidth of our internet to upload that to 54%. I just didn't know where to do, what to do. So we just cancelled it. We found a program that, you know, smooshes it up to a smaller amount and just uploaded it from there. It literally took 20 minutes, half an hour then because our internet was terrible. We've actually had it sorted. It's a lot better, but still. Sorry, the, the, the cat is like, whoop, right here. But I'm going to go now, because I need to go be in my comfy jumper, my comfy jumper. And possibly go make myself something to eat, because I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> when aren't I hungry? Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, anything about anything I'm working on, drop me a comment or find me on Facebook. I'm Emmy Pritchard in the Stitch Mania group. Um... There I go again, say none. Uh, yeah, comment, find me on Facebook, Emmy Pritchard. I'm in the Stitch Mania group, I'm in Cross Stitch and Discuss, uh, Cross Stitch It's Fun, uh, Cross Stitch Friendly Circle, <laughs> Cross Stitch Friends in the UK. Because I live in the UK, so why not? Um, and a couple of others, uh, Brooks Books one, you know, whatever's I found interesting, the groups that I found that I feel are suitable for me without going overboard and joining every single one because I was a part of most of them at one point and then like they just didn't seem right to me you know they just didn't feel like the community I was after like Stitch Mania is the best community I've ever been in like Cross Stitch Friends in the UK great but you find that Stitch Mania pattern the people the things people are working on in Mania and the things that people are working on Cross Stitch Friends in the UK are completely different completely like you'll get a lot more uh, cottage house needleworks and stuff like that and uh, chatelaine you don't get that you don't get that in the uh, cottage friends in the uk you really don't but it's it's nice to see the differences in patterns between the groups which is always nice you get a different you get a wide variety you get the doreen jones a lot and you get the joan elliott's it's just really nice to see that people are working on a diverse amount of patterns.
but I'm gonna go because I think the cat's gonna fall asleep on me and I need to get up so I'll see you guys later and happy stitching